Question 20. An isosceles triangle has a perimeter of 12 centimetres. One of its sides is 5 centimetres, and it does say one of its sides. What could the length of the, each of the other two sides be? Two different answers are possible. Give both answers. Well, an isosceles triangle has two sides the same and one side different. Now, that will help us in a moment. So, if we think about the first possible set of answers, and we draw an isosceles triangle, where two sides are the same, so these two sides are the same, the third side is different, it could be that the five we are told about is the sides that are the same. So if five is this side, it could also be that one of the other two sides is also five, because two sides have got to be the same in an isosceles triangle. Now remember, the perimeter is 12. Okay, so if we've got 5 plus 5, that makes 10. What else would this bottom side need to be to make it up to 12? Well, it would have to be 2. Because 5 plus 5 plus 2 gives us this 12 here. So, if one of the sides is 5, then the other two sides would have to be 5 again and 2 centimetres. And that is one of the possible answers, because 5 plus 5 plus 2 gives you 12 centimetres, which it says in the question. What about the second set of answers? Well, if we draw another isosceles triangle again, and this time say that these two sides are the same, this time we've already said that 5 could be on the side that is the same as another side because two sides are the same. So what happens if the five is on the side that's different? So this time I'll say five is the different side at the bottom there. What would these two sides have to be? Well, if we've already used five from the 12, 12 take away five is seven. So we'd have to split seven equally between the other two sides. So if you split seven equally, half of seven is 3.5. So the other two sides would have to be 3.5 each. Because 3.5 add 3.5 is 7, plus your 5 back onto that would give you your 12. So that would work. So the other set of answers to conclude then, if one of the sides is 5, then the other two would both have to be 3.5. And there's your two different answers which are possible. As a quick check, let's just check it. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus the 5 that we're told about is 12, so that works. And 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7, plus the 5 that we're told about is also 12, so that works.